Hey, honors physics students. As you get ready to produce the light notebook, you recognize, as I mentioned in class, that the lab reports will be significantly different than you've been using, um, doing with the lab book. We'll not be using the lab book for these labs. Each one of these labs will be typed on your computer. Uh, however, three of the labs, as you've discovered, three of the labs will require full lab reports and the remaining labs will require only diagrams and the analysis section. So let me show you a couple of details about this and help you realize what the sample, um, what the lab reports should be like. Uh, I will or um, will hand out one of these to you. I may already have done that. Uh, what I've done is I've produced a sample lab report. So a pretend experiment has happened. And when, I do an exp when you do an experiment, uh, a couple of details. The first part is basically usually just a sentence or so. It is the introduction and the purpose. It's what you hope to learn from the lab. Notice this one. This lab is about weight and sliding frictional forces. So obviously this has nothing to do with light and waves, but that's actually good for this to be a sample lab report and won't um, mess up how you're typing your actual labs. What I like to do is write a sentence, a simple sentence that describes what I hope to learn. I want to learn about the relationship between the weight of an object and the force of friction. So that's what uh, I'd like, usually just a sentence. Those new ideas can be described, like sometimes I just use little bullets to talk about weight, friction, any formula that I already know from the notes, you know, I place in this section and it's a very short section. A, an important uh, section also is the supplies equipment and it's really called the procedure section. And in most experiments, scientific experiments, we need to be able to show people how to do the experiment. So I really think a picture is worth a lot. Uh, so I did this on computer just because I wanted to. However, my recommendation is when you're doing your experiment, leave yourself some room, make a little diagram. So your little diagram could be, so if you're uh, um, analyzing, uh, for instance, uh, waves in a wave tank, so you might draw, you can simply draw the wave tank and, and uh, for instance, if you, if you have a, a block in the wave tank, so I would draw a block in the wave tank. And then maybe with my ruler, I would draw some waves traveling. And so uh, what you can do is draw by hand any diagrams you need. But diagrams are very helpful. Uh, tell me what equipment you're using, but especially important, and this doesn't have to be that long, is the procedure section. That will tell the reader how to do the lab. If they decide to do their lab on their own, they will be able to tell exactly how to do it by the procedure section. It outlines the steps. Then there is a section that is typically uh, different in length depending on the kind of lab. The observations, sometimes the observations are just what you see happening. Maybe you saw light um, changing direction in, in a certain direction. The data would be a data table, and I'll show you one of those, and then calculations. So I'll show you the next page of the sample report that either you have or you will have. So the data uh, can be organized in a data table. Don't forget that the units, most students forget the units in the data table. So you set up a data table like this. Again, the data table can be typed or it can be, you could um, do this by hand. But anyway, the, the, the main body of this is typed. So the calculations should be shown. As you can see, I'm showing my math work here. Now the math work that you would do, I would recommend uh, that you show your math work by hand to save yourself a little time. So for instance, if I'm going to do uh, F equals MA, then you might actually uh, be wisest to save yourself some time, leave yourself a little room and put, so for instance, if it was 2.5 kilograms times an acceleration of uh, 1.0 meter per second squared, you can show this by hand and actually do that, save yourself some time. The analysis section is the most important part. The analysis section tells us the answers to questions. Of course, the reader of this will not know what the question is. So it's very important for you to type the question. Look how I've done that, okay? I type the question, then I put the answer in. Okay, the answer should explain to the reader uh, the logic of how you came up with the answer. Many of the questions involve formulas. 
So that means if it says what equation best fits, you do y equals mx plus b. Okay, if it says, for instance, uh, to find the, the slope, look how I've done rise over run. I actually showed the rise over run, did that. Then if I use a formula, I show the work on the formula. Very important that the analysis uh, be a situation where you show your work. Then I've got more analysis uh, answers here for you. Percentage difference formula. Don't just say that it was off by about 20%. You need to show me the way that you did the percentage difference. Uh, it's good to have a section that's discussion of error, to tell where you think the errors came from. And a very important part for a full lab report is the conclusion. If the introduction is what you hope to learn, the conclusion is what you really did learn. Okay? Many times there is a graph. So, the, uh, so you, you place the graph, and it can be anywhere at the end of it. Uh, remember, when you have a graph, now you can't read this very well, but remember, you need to label the axis. So for instance, I had the weight of the block and I put the units in parenthesis for newtons. And then I showed my data points here. The last thing I'd like to tell you is on the questions where, uh, on the labs where you don't need a full lab report, and you'll know which ones those are, all you need for those would be the diagrams and the answers to questions, the analysis. So that's all you have to do, you get to skip the introduction, the purpose, you get to skip uh, such things uh, as the materials and the diagram of how to set it up. The procedure doesn't need to be there. You don't need any conclusion. You just need to have the diagrams there and the analysis. Now the analysis, if there are data points, you've got to include the data or the analysis doesn't make sense. But predominantly the data, will, the analysis will be the answers to the questions. And so again, every one of these is typed on your computer. This ought to help a little bit, I hope.